Oh, with Scott Pollard from Extreme Fishing Adventures. We're fishing the Cowlitz River, Southwest Washington. And we are free drifting for summer on steelhead today. When I'm jet boat steelhead fishing, I'm almost always free drifting. This, it just, to me, it uh, gets, the, gets the rod in the hand of the, of the uh, customer. They can feel the fish hit. Um, they're not, like you said, sitting in a chair watching a, watching a rod tip all day. It's, uh, it uh, basically gives them an uh, opportunity to feel the fish bite. Um, then when I start uh, drift boat fishing later in the year, we'll do a little bit of plug pulling, but not a lot. Um, basically, we'll do side drifting out of the drift boats. By doing this this way, I mean, it can be a really enjoyable experience for a you know, a somewhat first-time fisherman, and you know, give them give them an opportunity and some of the skills they learn from what you're showing here. I mean, this is this is real good stuff. Yeah, this is uh, this is a good kind of fishing for uh, for either uh, a novice fisherman or a or an expert fisherman. Um, you know, even if people that uh, can't cast very good, we can uh, you know teach them teach them what they need to know to to get through the through the day or we can even help them cast if need be. We're, we're using pretty basic gear, spinning reels, nothing really hard to, hard to cast. Actually, we want to reel them up now, we're going to switch sides. Fish on! Perfect! Fish on over here. We haven't seen him yet. We just picked him up. He's working down south. Now he's giving us a little bit of fun. Why don't you come on down here? Okay. You want to keep it clear of the bottom of the boat. You want to be able to, to go, if he goes the other side, just go over my head and okay. around to the other side of the boat. It's a nice It's nice like fish. we got a nice summer run on. Now I tell you what, this dude knows how to fish. Oh, there we go. Go around. Go around. When I'm about to lift yeah. What we want to do always when free drifting is we're not going to stick the net under the fish until he's completely played out and uh, we get his head out of the water. Yep, rod right in the water. Perfect. Perfect. Mm. Oh. Nicely done. This guy has got the techniques down, I will this tell you that. This fish is gonna come up again, probably. We're coming into some shallows. That fish is nice. That's a. Oh, he's doing the spin on us. Yes, sir. Now these rods really have nice Come action, Scott. They really do. Okay, we're gonna switch sides here. These light rods rock. Okay, he's about ready. I want to do is reel down on him, and then lift up and keep his head up out of the water. Right in the water. He didn't like that at all, did he? No. Almost though. His yeah. tail sweeps are getting a little slower now. I've got Joe overtrained on net in this fish. <laughs> he doesn't go too early. <laughs> Joe is the net master. All right, Joe. Oh, we got the... There you there go. We go. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice one. Man, that was awesome. Thank you so much. You Extreme fishing adventures. Action. Check it out.
well, you do a lot of springer fishing in the spring. What seasons do you run? And uh... In the spring, I'm fishing uh, the Kalama River and the Lewis River. I uh, start in uh, about April 15th, and I fish them through the end of May. And then June 1st, I'll uh, start fishing summer run. How many springers you do this year? Uh, we got 74 springers. For those of you who don't know too much about springers, they're one of the best fish you can catch. And the... eat. Huh? And, and eat. eat. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I fish uh, summer steelhead, start on June 1st, and I'll fish them into September. Um, the best time to go if you want to do uh, free drifting is to uh, come anytime after the 15th and all the way through uh, you know the end of July. Then uh, September uh, I do a little bit of fall uh, Chinook fishing. Um, where, where at? Um, I do it on the Nisqually and uh, we're going to do a little bit this year on the Kalama. Um, then starting in October, that's when my salmon season really picks up. Um, I fish the Chehalis River system. Big kings, the, big silvers. Yep, the Chehalis, the Wainuchi, and the Satsup. Um, then go directly into uh, fish them through about Thanksgiving, and then I'll go directly into winter steelhead fishing, where I'll fish uh, the Cowlitz um, in December and then move to the Wainuchi in January and fish it all the way through the end of March. And uh, then starting mid-April, I'll start fishing uh, springers on the Kalama and the Lewis. Fish on. Tip, 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 tip. I gotta get past it. Nice job. Steelhead. Summer run our nuts. Remember to keep that net up. There we go. I got him right underneath the mile. I saw that. Want to be a little careful over there. There might be some stuff. Stuff, but I don't think there's too much until we get down a little ways. You've got these drags and set just perfect. It's very important when you use light line to keep the drag set right or they'll crack them off every time. Yeah, it looks like you got one of the hooks is right in the jaw and the other one's right in on the bottom. You got them just viced perfect. There we go. This guy knows how to net. I'm telling you this. He can net. Check that one for a fin. That's good. All right. That's a little cookie cutter. That's what we've been getting mostly right there. A little four, four to six pound fish. Great for the barbecue. To say the least. So I call it right in, the, right in the corner of the jaw and right underneath. Look at those. There's no way. That lion could have got into those teeth the way that fish hooked himself. Summer run steelhead, nice hatchery fish, great for the barbie. You want to catch some fish? Check him out.